Imagine a Bible club, a Bible club in a public school that is so popular, more than half the students attend its meetings. CBN News first reported on this amazing story taking place in Pennsylvania. That was two years ago we told you about it. Well, as Paul Strand tells us, the impact of that Bible club has reached around the world. Each Monday in the middle of the school day, more than half of Red Bank Valley High's 600 students head to Bible Club. That makes it the largest of its kind in the world. They put on an annual open house here in New Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, that showcases their wild skits, zany antics, and boisterous worship. It's attracted up to a thousand people at once. These students carry their Bibles in the hallways, openly share the gospel, and now they're inspiring kids around the country and beyond. CBN News first covered Red Bank's club two years ago after a viewer sent an email about its success. You made that video clip and everything, and we've got all kinds of responses from that. Bible Club president Doug Gundlach says it kicked off a cavalcade of inquiries and invitations. That has sparked interest. Uh, all over the world, really. They even had to elect their own public relations officer to handle it all. A lot of things have happened. We've had a lot of outreach projects, as well as people contacting us to see how things are done. A major spark came from Maggie McCauley's testimony of being just 14 years old at a Bible club meeting where she led some four dozen students to pray for salvation. Accepting Christ in front of all their peers during the school day, that doesn't happen anywhere else. Today, Maggie says it may have been even more than four dozen. Like, I'm sitting there counting, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it, 48 kids. And there could have been more, but I had to quit counting so I could pray. Treasurer Elena Kunzelman believes their TV story led to a miracle connection. After we were on 700 Club last time, a club from California, Rosamond High School, they're a Bible club. They got in touch with us, said they saw our interview, which was really cool, I thought. I mean, they're the whole way across the country. Then the Rosamond students shared that they needed exactly 25 Bibles, and that's exactly what the Red Bank students prayed for. Not even a week later, someone dropped off 25 Bibles in our office, which was the exact number of Bibles that they needed. The donor had no idea he was fulfilling to a T the prayer for 25 Bibles. They were just laying around his office, he said. Elena keeps the thank you card signed by a couple of dozen grateful Rosamond students who received the Bibles. I mean, that's definitely a God thing. After hearing about Red Bank's Bible Club, Travis Deans of Teens for Christ began to spread the word. A part of my excitement is to share what's happening here with other clubs and just to say, look what God could do in your school. Dean shared the story on his website, ninemonthmissiontrip.com, which is aimed right at kids in school. We want to challenge students, uh, particularly Christian students, to think of their school as a mission mission trip, that God has put them there for a purpose and a reason, and God wants to use them to share His love with their friends. A ministry that wants to assist setting up a network of 30 or 40 Bible clubs throughout New York City schools sent observers to Red Bank. They wanted to organize a Bible club that would bring in kids from all five boroughs in New York City, and they came to us for help. And the Red Bankers have become missionaries in their own way. We went to a youth convention in Denver, and we did a program there. The club's advisor, teacher Joe Harmon, evangelizes for the club's methods as well, traveling to other Pennsylvania towns when asked. I asked Joe to come down to the youth group and speak to them, and some of our other youth leaders were there, and it just set the kids on fire. That's what these Red Bankers want to do everywhere, set students on fire for God, and let them know it's completely constitutional to live out their faith anywhere. There's no law that says kids can't carry a Bible in school, read in school, pray in school. There's nothing like that. And Dean says kids have every reason to be proud of their God. I mean, let's face it, God is cool. I mean, God is awesome. Many Americans may think the Supreme court through prayer and the Bible out of public schools back in the 1960s. But as kids here are showing their nation, as long as you're a student, you can have as much prayer, Bible, and God in your school as you want. And it can be pretty cool. Paul Strand, CBN News, reporting from Red Bank Valley High School.